Hello my fellow friends and followers, it's me Retromania and in today's video we are talking about my top 15 games I'm looking forward this year 2023. Obviously this is just my opinion, my top list, if you disagree that's completely fine. You can also write me down below your games you are looking forward this year. And with this out of the way let's jump into my top 15 games in 2023, let's go! I'm not a huge fan of Telltale games, but I really had a lot of fun with the first installment of Wolf Among Us. I personally prefer more gameplay focused games, but even I liked Wolf Among Us. The main reason why I tried it out was because of its unique art style, what looks amazing. So I cannot wait to experience the crazy journey of Big B Wolf and his friends once again in Wolf Among Us 2. I like the One Piece manga and anime, it's not my favorite manga, but it's still very solid. One Piece Odyssey, it's a turn-based JRPG, and people know me, know that I love and adore the turn-based combat, it's my favorite subgenre in RPGs. So the game already gets some brownie points by being a turn-based game. One Piece Odyssey, it's developed by Ilka, they are the same people who made Dragon Quest XI, so I have no worries that they will deliver once again. Those people know what they are doing and I cannot wait to jump into the action, into another journey with Luffy and his crew in One Piece Odyssey. I followed Assassin's Creed from the very beginning. Although I must admit that the newer games aren't as good as they once were, I still think that the franchise is solid overall. My favorite Assassin's Creed game is Assassin's Creed 2. Write me down below your favorite Assassin's Creed game. Assassin's Creed is a very big franchise that had its ups and downs and what should be mentioned in this top list, but let's move on. Kong, it's a game I saw many years ago and what blew me away in both gameplay animations and graphics. The game is very promising and it's based on the Monkey King, Sun Wukong. You have hundreds of transformations, skills and combat system looks really fluid, really fast and really promising. I'm not a huge fan of Souls-like games, but even I must admit, this game looks so great, so amazing and I cannot wait to try it out. So definitely a game worth picking up. Pikmin 4 is a highly anticipated game from many Pikmin fans, me included. We waited over 9 years, soon 10, Pikmin 3 came out in July 2013, so yeah guys, 10 years of pain and suffering, but we are finally here. If I need to describe Pikmin, it's a game where you control these small creatures after a post-apocalyptic war where humans were wiped out. Yeah, it looks like a fun childish game, but it's actually really dark. You collect human artifacts left by the human race. If you need a similar game to Pikmin to kill time before Pikmin 4 comes out, I would highly recommend getting Overlord. So yeah, Pikmin 4 is a spicy game, I'm definitely looking forward. Resident Evil 4, should I say Biohazard 4, it's a highly requested remake what we are finally getting to play. I'm not a huge Resident Evil guy, but if I need to pick one Resident Evil game to play, it would be Resident Evil 4. This is one of the games I'm definitely looking forward, although I will gladly switch Resident Evil 4 for a Saturn 7 Capcom. But Capcom doesn't really care, so I will take what uh, I can get. This looks like a promising solid remake, but there is one remake I'm anticipating slightly more than the Resident Evil 4 one, so let's jump to place number 9. I put this remake over the Resident Evil 4 one because I never played Dead Space, yes I know I sinned, I'm a sinner. But I will finally be able to play it and this with a new fresh coat of paint. So I'm very excited to dive deep into the franchise and I pray to god that the devs don't rush it and take the time with this IP and let's move on to number 8. Hogwarts Legacy, it's a game I was looking for the same day it was announced. I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter, but this game looks so good and it's set before Harry Potter, so it's a prequel. It's set in a Hogwarts before the books and the movies and it's a really cool prequel idea that doesn't require the knowledge of the previous movies and books to be enjoyed. The animations, art style, music and gameplay, everything looks promising and I hope it turns out great. This game is full of fantasy, but not as much fantasy as my next pick, so let's see what otherworldly fantasy adventure awaits us next. Final Fantasy 
Fantasy 16, it's a Final Fantasy game, I'm looking forward and this is something I can hardly believe I'm saying right now. The last Final Fantasy game I really enjoyed was Final Fantasy 12 and I think Final Fantasy 13, 15 and 7 Remake are bad in my opinion, you can disagree if you want, I don't mind. I know there are fans of these games, but I really couldn't find fun in these games, I'm sorry guys. I personally would like to see Square going back to the old formula, but I kinda have a good feeling with 16. I like hack and slash games and I hope this game turns out into another great hack and slash JRPG like Astral Chain or Scarlet Nexus. Overall a game with a lot of potential, but also a game with a lot of risk of falling down and I'm interesting to see how Square will tackle the action hack and slash JRPG subgenre. Square is chasing stars and the next game is also chasing stars in a different way, so let's fly to place number 6. Starfield, the next Mafesta game, what it's pretty much Elder Scrolls in space. The creators of Elder Scrolls are making a galactic adventure where you can explore thousands of planets with many RPG gameplay elements. Although I think Todd Howard it's over promising in some aspects. Nothing new, I know. But still, I think this will be a really solid RPG shooter in space, so definitely a game I'm interested in, but let's move on. Fire Emblem Engage, it's a new entry in the Fire Emblem series, it's visually speaking a huge step up from Fire Emblem Three Houses, but it's also a different game gameplay wise. From my understanding it's similar to games like Fire Emblem Awakening, from the footage I have seen it looks amazing and I cannot wait to play it. The only thing what makes me rethink if I should play it now, it's because I only played 3 houses and I actually never finished 3 houses. I need to play more Fire Emblem and Engage seems to have a lot of fan service and callbacks only hardcore fans of the series will understand. The story is new and unique, every Fire Emblem game from my understanding has a separate story and gameplay what can be enjoyed alone. I'm still arguing should I choose the path of playing this game right now or not, but one path I'm sure I will choose right now and let's jump to this path right away. Octopath Traveler 2 is a sequel to the very popular Octopath Traveler. The first game sold over 3 million units and was a catalyst to many other games using the new unique art style code. 2D HD. I love the art style and the music was excellent, I personally prefer Triangle Strategy more than Octopath Traveler, but I heard that the devs took the critique of the first game and approved upon it. So I cannot wait to experience 2D HD once again. Another 2D HD game, I really cannot stop talking about these games, can I? Getting a remake of Dragon Quest 3 and this in 2D HD, it's by far the best thing what could have happened. I heard many great things of Dragon Quest 3 and although the 2019 port was terrible, I have high hopes that this remake will be great and that we will finally get the experience we deserve. It's kinda weird to get a remake 4 years later after they already tried to port the same old game. But hey, it's Square so I stopped thinking about logic for a very long time. Still this is a welcome weird decision from Square and I will welcome it with open arms. One game I will also welcome with open arms, it's the next game on place 2. So let's jump to place number 2 or should I say let's swing to place number 2. We are swinging once again together with Spider-Man in Marvel Spider-Man 2. I'm not a huge fan of the movie direction Sony lately took with all of the IPs, for example God of War. I think some of Sony's older games are much better, but I think this style of game works quite nicely for Spider-Man. Spider-Man was firstly a Marvel comic and movie, so making it more of an interactive movie game adventure works quite nicely for this IP. In my opinion this is the game what might justify a new console purchase, like the next game on place 1. Overall Spider-Man it's one of Sony's big dogs and one of Sony's biggest IPs coming out this year, but let's now jump to place number 01. 
Zelda Tears of the Kingdom it's the biggest game coming out this year together with Marvel Spider-Man 2. Imagine Zelda and Spider-Man La Classe Tears Elden Ring and God of War situation. I'm pretty sure one of these two games will most likely win Game of the Year 2023 although who cares what game journalists have to say but yeah. I like Spider-Man but I like even more Zelda but I think both games are high quality and amazing. I cannot wait to jump once more in the world of Zelda and explore the huge open world of Hyrule. So yeah guys this was my top 15 games I'm looking forward to this year. Do you agree with my list or do you disagree? What are your top 10, 15, 20 whatever favorite games you are most likely looking forward to this year? Let me know down below. And with this out of the way I wish you all a wonderful day. Sayonara my good old gamer friends. Bye. Sayonara. Averidechi. Bis dann. And ciao.